I said it before and I'll say it again. Life moves pretty fast. You don't stop and look around once in a while. You could miss it. Hey guys, so I have a couple of things to do today. As per usual, every Monday, I am back at Richard's studio to continue organizing and cleaning from shoots over the past week and whatnot. And if not too big of a mess over the week, then I do mostly organizing, but today there is a fair amount to clean up since he went thrifting and I didn't get to fully clean up from my last shoot with him a few days ago. But once that is done, then I will be focusing on switching all the hangers to make them all uniform because that is probably one of the most time consuming parts, but there's still a lot of sections to declutter and whatnot, but we can really only do that when he's not getting prepared for shoots, which doesn't happen very often because he's very, very, he's as busy as I am. But then at three o'clock when he's working, I will actually have to be heading out to my other job. Last time I did my week in my life, I didn't have a shift that day, but I am still working in retail, but only once a week with an old boss that I, really liked working for before she got transferred over. So now I'm at her new store and yeah, so I work there for like a quick four hour shift. It kind of helps pay for my gas and my insurance for every month. Good morning all, I'm kind of dying. So typically I'm actually like stupidly cold. I would say like 90% of the time of the year, but Alberta and BC is hitting like a, apparently a record heat in a good chunk of days in a row, which is definitely not normal. And I can't say that I've been this warm consistently since I was in Japan five years ago. So that's great. Also in the heat, my arm tends to flare up. So it's leaving me a little bit more self-conscious than I'd like to admit. Um, I'm hoping that with the fan and literally three bottles of water, I can actually do some deep work today. The original plan was actually going to be doing a photo shoot. However, because Richard and I are both very behind on our editing and honestly, this video, the short film thing, it's not done. And this video I thought was going to be a short, easy one to do after just like writing the script for it. But then the more I edited and the more time I spent on it, the more ideas I got to make it better and more impactful and and still working on it <laughs> so that is the plan wish me luck let's go <laughs> been two and a half hours of straight work, but I kind of don't want to be in a chair for longer than two and a half hours. So I talked to Richard and I am going to head over and organize for a couple hours, probably only two, then come back and continue editing the video. Now, typically I would just go on a bike ride for my break, but because it's so freaking hot and I really don't want to overexert myself, I'm like, mm, maybe when it's like almost 40 above here, it's not the best time to be taking an hour bike ride. Oh, you're over there! Okay. Hello. <laughs> the first task I'm doing is going to be taking these pink velvet hangers and switching them so that it matches with the pink stuff. We wanted to make it super aesthetic because like pink's his favorite color and he wants to make like a really statement section out of that area. Well, shit. After I finally got home, it was back to editing my short film for the rest of the night. Today, I am with my two best friends, Rosemary and Trisha, and we are thrifting for Trisha's summer clothes. I has none. <laughs> so, we've already had a few pairs of shorts already, so that's good. And I gave her this button up because I ended up buying too many button ups. Rosemary, what are you looking for? Just odds and ends. Odds and ends? <laughs> I'm probably gonna have to put th subtitles on you. It's probably hard to hear you through the mask. Those are cute. Those are really cute. That's definitely high waisted. 
She looks so unhappy with me. <laughs> <laughs> I think that color looks good. What do you think about this one? I really like it. Yeah. I do. It just looks kind of hilarious with your pants sticking out at the bottom. Yeah. <laughs> Sadly, after thrifting, Trisha had to go back and pick up her other children. So Rosemary and I headed back to my place and I edited my video while she was on the floor and chilled and did some kind of studying for astrology. <laughs> Today's Thursday, today is Canada Day. Happy Canada Day. Mostly every single year, usually I end up bringing a friend out here. This time, my friend Marley could not join me since she got a new job. Very proud of her, by the way. Out of applause. She got a job at the uh, veterinarian clinic. A couple of my other friends couldn't make it for various other reasons, so I am here by myself with my family and <laughs> honestly, I would prefer to be here by a lake during this heat wave than at home, but at least there's a lake you can jump into if you're dying of the heat. Lousy little. <laughs> After that little debacle, Dad and I headed down to Bill and Colleen's cabin down the road to hang out with them and their family for the rest of the night. Wants pets. What? What are you, Wait, what? <laughs> Yeah. Hey, Murphy. Dad and I ended up going to bed stupidly early, but around four to twelve, I started hearing some major banging noises, and then I realized there was actually fireworks going off at the beach. But they were so loud that it was incredibly distracting, and I could not fall asleep. So I decided to walk down there and watch the last of the show. Ah, why do I keep hiccuping? Hey guys, so it is Friday. Yes, I will be taking this opportunity to finish some paintings that I didn't quite get to finish and I don't like leaving things unfinished anymore. So first docket is to work on that and then continue finishing up weekly spreads for my bullet journal, but stay outside because it's super, super hot. And that's also why I'm wearing this because I'm too lazy to put on sunscreen everywhere on my body. <laughs> yeah, I burn very easily. This is not comfortable. <laughs> okay, I think I'm gonna move. These weekly spreads actually ended up taking a lot longer than I anticipated. <laughs> but after I finished, it was around three o'clock and dad and I headed down to the lake to meet up with Bill and Colleen and the rest of their family. And I finally got to ride the sea view after like a year. <laughs> That thing is broken down so many times that honestly, I feel like at this point, my dad has spent more money trying to fix it than he did on actually buying it. Yay! Oh good, it's working! You love your jacket. Okay, remember how this works, right? Yep. Don't go far though. I won't. Oh, that's freaking cold. Now remember, you don't, yep. you can drive straight through and don't, don't, don't watch where you're going. <laughs> very, very wet, but I feel so much better. I'm not used to using a viewfinder. I'm used to be able to look at this. So when I see this, I keep like not looking at you. So I'm very sorry. It is a glorious 
Saturday morning, a very comfortable temperature of I think 27 above. And I actually slept in quite late until like 10 a.m. I think, which really only happens here because my bed that's here, it has like this extra thing on top of the mattress to make it feel even like cushier. So it feels like I'm sleeping on clouds. It's freaking glorious. So I just like let myself sleep when I'm here. So this morning to kind of like ease myself into a workflow, I'm going to finish painting. Don't bite me, please don't bite me, please don't bite me. Oh my god, oh my god, just gonna go, just gonna go. Good boy. Once we got back from the lake, I chilled on my balcony for a little while to brainstorm ideas for one of the videos for my passion project I've been to you guys about. It needs to look like a CD cover, so these are the ones that I was using to try to piece together an idea. I can't do it with that hand. This is so hard. How do vloggers do this? Hi, yeah, you've never seen this before, eh? Okay. <laughs> okay, show me the tent. <laughs> the stinky one? We don't want to see. That's, that's the good one? Okay. That is the stinky oh my god, it's massive! Oh no, I forgot my shoes. Good job, guys. And we made a baby place for our babies. Oh, yeah. cute! One I'll make sure that me. doesn't go on my videos. The doggos like each other, good. Okay. Don't go in the tent, no, no. <laughs> Not in the tent. Okay, I know it's kind of hard to see me when I do front facing, but ah, another night, another day, done. I'm officially so tired. When I was playing with the kids yesterday to play what they like to call soap tag, playing that maybe in another video, I thought my runner's knee was fine. But then today, midday, it was acting up and I tried running it with them again and started acting up even more and my thighs are on fire. The gyms are open, so once I'm back from the cabin, I will start back at the gym and really focus on getting my strength back. Amy and Eric are just walking up, so I will say good night and I will see you guys tomorrow. I know I haven't really been like super talkative to the camera and it was a lot of voiceover, but I fail to account for the fact that I am still very nervous slash feel weird talking to whoever's watching me slash my camera in front of my family. So that is why it was mostly voiceover for this. But yeah, it was still pretty enjoyable to still like film bits of my day while I was at the cabin because I don't really get to visit there very often. So memories are nice to look back on even if it's just for me. <laughs> There was so much stuff that we decluttered from inside the cabin, from changing all the hangers and going through this closet full of stuff that we haven't really touched in the past like five years, just cause my parents were in the middle of remodeling the entire cabin. So all the decor changed and everything that my mom wasn't sure if she wanted to get rid of, we just kind of like stored in the closet. And we finally went through it before we left to get back home. And bringing everything home took a lot longer to unpack and sort. So now my truck is done going through donation piles and stuff to go to Trisha's house and to her husband and Richard's bathroom design and other parts of his place. I'm very happy that I got that out of the way and fixed. And I have a little bit more laundry to put away but uh, yeah, I think I'm just gonna finish color coding certain plans in my day planner since I basically filled out the entire month. I've got every day planned to a T. So I really hope I don't fall behind on anything. Otherwise, um, this month might go to chaos for me. <laughs> it has. But yeah, I feel very accomplished. I feel very exhausted, but I'm glad that I sorted all of that out today so that I can start my Monday on a very fresh, very productive start. So I thank you guys so much for watching and remember, think for yourself, use your head and learn something new. See you next week.